क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट हाउ द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स और द मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स कैन बी इजीली सेपरेटेड बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मेथड्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो व्हाट इज क्रोमेटोग्राफी व्हाट आर द डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल एज वेल एज व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफी लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दिस ऑल थिंग्स इन दिस टॉपिक सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दैट वन So now we are going to understand that is what is chromatography and what are the principle behind that. So let us understand the definition of the chromatography first. That is, it is nothing but it is a technique used for the separation, purification, as well as the identification of the constituents of a mixture that is under study. So obviously we know that the organic compounds that could be obtained uh, that could be obtained in in terms of a mixture also, and that is what it is very much essential for us uh, not only to separate them but also to purify them because obviously we need a pure organic compound. So that's the reason that this kind of techniques are basically nowadays it is all been used so as not only to separate but also to purify. And this is what the chromatography is, and what are the principle behind that? So let me uh, disclose that also. So the principle of the chromatography is as follows. So the principle is basically the principle behind uh, the chromatography is the principle behind the technique is basically a distribution of the components of a mixture of the organic compounds between two phases, and those two phases are basically stationary phases and mobile phase. So what is stationary phase and what is mobile phase? Basically, let me give you a small idea behind this because. Uh, we know uh, that uh, so now let me give a brief idea that is how basically it works and uh, on the next lecture also we are going to study about uh, the different types of chromatography in very good detail so now let me give you a brief idea so there are two phases that is a stationary phase and a mobile phase so the mixture of the organic compounds that is kept in the stationary phase and basically a mobile phase that could be uh, a liquid or that could be a gas that could be passed through the stationary phase which consists of the mixture of organic compounds so that mobile phase is the one that could be able to separate the uh, mixture of organic compounds and uh, that has been present in the uh, or that are been adsorbed on the stationary phase so that is how basically the separation will occur as well as we can also purify it so that was a brief idea this is the principle behind the uh, chromatography so and as well as uh, let me give a small detail also that is chromatography the name chroma it means color so by differentiating or by observing uh, that uh, the organic compounds are been separated because uh, we could see that suppose if if a mixture if consists of uh, suppose a different color and uh, while passing the mobile phase we could find that uh, that certain uh, organic compound is basically it has been divided and it has been separated and we could see two different colors in that so that is how basically chromatography also works so that was a brief idea but uh, now let me talk about the types of chromatography and those are so the main different types of chromatography is what i am going to discuss and that is what it has been mentioned over here that is the adsorption chromatography and partition chromatography so uh, based on this detail we are going to talk about in next lecture but let me give you a brief idea that is uh, what is the principle behind this so the principle behind the adsorption chromatography is nothing but it is a differential uh, adsorption and what is differential adsorption it means it will consist of a mixture and that is what we have to separate uh, the mixture uh, from each other and that is what it will depend on the tendency which has been uh, attached to the adsorbent so it depends on uh, the which compound that we are talking about or which compound that we are analyzing so that could be separated so that depends and uh, or the tendency or the rate of uh, separation it all it will depend on the organic compound and that is based on the uh, adsorption of the organic compound on the adsorbent while talking about the partition chromatography this partition chromatography is nothing but it is a, a continuous differential process where the mixtures are getting separated continuously and as well as we could also see that uh, and talking about partition chromatography then partition chromatography is nothing but a continuous differential uh, method which has been done where a mobile phase is basically uh, it separates the organic compound or the mixture of organic compound that are been present on the stationary phase so based on this technique i'll i'm going to elaborate it in my next lecture but uh, for now it is the thing that is we have discussed that is the types of chromatography are two types that is adsorption chromatography and partial chromatography so now let me discuss about uh, the uh, examples related to this also so now let me discuss about the examples also and that is what we are going to do in the next lecture and the examples are that is uh, for adsorption chromatography it is column chromatography 
and uh, the next is basically thin layer chromatography that is being represented by TLC thin layer chromatography and uh, talking about partition chromatography the example is paper chromatography so the more detail we are going to uh, talk about in the next lecture so for now it is sufficient to understand that is what is chromatography what is the definition what is the principle behind that and what are the types of chromatography so that's it i hope uh, you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe thank you so much